Bruce. Bruce. <sighs> Who's that? Hey, Sleepyhead. No. This isn't happening. What's well, not happening? <laughs> How are you here? I mean, I thought you were dead. That's a bunch of junk. Look at me, do I look dead to you? What do you want? You know, you wouldn't be so confused if you hadn't killed me. I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, I'm dead, and it's all your fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're well, not as sorry as we're gonna be. I'm sorry, really, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so Grace. Hey, I heard you yelling. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I just had a bad dream. Was it scary? Like you wouldn't believe. Tell me about it. Dad was standing by me. What? He was standing beside my bed. He was mad at me. He said that he died because of me. And it's true. No, it isn't true. I know it's hard for you to grasp, but you didn't know Dad would let, let you go on his shoulders. It was an accident. Dad's the one who who had you on his shoulders. I know, but I'm the one that that he tried to save, and I don't know. Grace, I know it's really hard for you to deal with everything that's happened. Don't you miss Dad? What kind of a stupid question is that? Of course I miss Dad. But I wasn't there when he died. You were, so it affects you more than it affects me. Yeah, I just don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Well, that's what therapy's for, to figure all that stuff out. Yeah. Where's Mom? She, um, she left the work already. Oh, gosh, what time is it? Nine o'clock? Why didn't you wake me? I don't know. I didn't want to bother you. Well, look, I'm going to go grab some breakfast. Why don't you get dressed and come and keep me company? Yes, Mother. I'm serious, Grace. You'll feel better. Okay, just give me a few minutes. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. So, what do you have planned for today? I don't know. I think I'm just going to stay home and take it easy. That dream is really hitting you hard, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Grace. We share the same room. I know when you're upset. So what if I am upset? What are you going to do about it? I don't know. You tell me. Girls? Is that Mom? Hi, girls. Hey, Mom. I thought you were at work. Well, I had a feeling something was going wrong here. Nothing's going wrong. Yeah, well, we're fine. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you just sleep well? Well, no, she didn't sleep well, Mom. Grace had one of her nightmares again. You know, why don't you stop telling everybody? I just want to forget about the nightmare. Grace, come with me into the living room. I want to talk to you. Am I in trouble? No, honey. Just come into the living room. Chris, so you go find something to do. Okay. You have a big mouth. But sometimes I can come in handy. Hi, sweetie. Come sit down. Mom, I know what you're going to say. It's not my fault. I shouldn't blame myself. You know me too well. 
Mom, you weren't there when this happened. I was on Dad's shoulders, and the weight pushed us on him, and I jumped off his shoulders, and he... He... Grace, honey, you've got to stop blaming yourself about this. I know, but how much therapy do I need? Honey, just because you go to therapy, it doesn't make you a bad person. Maybe not, but it makes me dependent. No, it doesn't. Well, it's a weakness. No, it isn't, Grace. It's actually a strength. Asking for help is a very brave thing to do. You think so? I know so. And I know you miss your father. I do. More than you'll ever know. I know, honey. But beating yourself up over it isn't going to bring your father back. I know, you don't have to remind me of that. Come here, I want to show you some pictures. I took pictures of you guys while you were at the beach. You did? Yes. But I thought you weren't at the beach. This was right before I left, right before the accident happened. I was there in the beginning, but then I got called into work. And so I left the beach while you and your father were in the ocean. So you weren't in the beach when the accident happened? No, I wasn't. Come here, let me show you some pictures. Look, this is a picture of your father holding you when you were born. You were the most beautifulest baby in the world. And I loved you and your father loved you. And even though you were just a baby, and I know every mother says this about their first child, but you were the most beautiful baby in the, in the hospital. Here, here's another picture. This is a picture of your first grade play. Your father took it. Dad took this picture? Yeah, he did. He, he was a very good man. I know he was. And I loved him. I just wish you would come back. Sweetie, he's not coming back. And it pains me to say that, too. But you got to remember the good times you had with him. Yeah, but all I can think about is the day that he died. Honey, I know you've been through a lot. But you got to stop blaming yourself for your father's death. It is not your fault. I don't know what I have to do to get through to you. Mom, you just don't get it, okay? It's only been a couple years since he died. Only a couple years? How can you not be so distraught over Dad dying? Maybe it's because I wasn't there when he died. And I feel guilty I didn't even get to say goodbye. I'm affected by this as much as you are. Well, you never told me that. I mean, you know, not crying or anything. Honey, when I cry, I do it in private. Wait a second. All those times when you wanted to be alone, was that when you would cry? Yes, I didn't want to cry in front of you girls. Wouldn't have been fair to you. Wow. You just lost your husband and you're worried about me and Chris. That's amazing. Yes, well, you girls are my priority. And when your father was alive, he was also my priority. I really miss him, Mom. I do too, kiddo. But you gotta stop blaming yourself. It is not your fault. I know. Thanks for understanding, Mom. Of course, honey. Let's look at some more pictures. Oh my god, this video is hilarious. Hey. Hey! Are you okay? What did mom want you for? She was just showing me some pictures of dad and I when I was a little girl. Yeah, I was only for a first grader when he died. Yeah, I know. Where was I when dad died? Don't you remember? You were at a friend's house. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. Yeah. You know, I miss Dad, too. I, I know you do. Yeah, but I'm more worried about you than I am about myself. You don't have to worry about me. I'll get over this. But it's been two years already, and you're still not over. You're right, I'm not. 
But I will be, and I appreciate you and Mom being there for me. You're putting your own feelings aside and taking care of me. It's okay. Just remember that Dad's always in our hearts. And he loves us, even up there. Thanks, Krista. Yeah. Well, look, why don't you get your computer where you could play Minecraft? I still want to work on beating you at level five. Oh, you are so on. Oh, yeah. 